A lot of thought goes into interior design. It's not just going and picking out pillows and candles. For me in particular, it always begins in the conference room, space planning, seeing the space. What are we going to use this space for? Each item is placed intentionally. It's not, there's no winging it. It's, it's there for a purpose, it's there for a use, and it's there sometimes just for beauty. When it comes down to interior design, I feel like when clients hire me, they hire me because I understand their taste and I understand their style and I understand their lifestyle. I love to create a design that's based on a lifestyle. Um, for example, one of my clients is a, a really big wine drinker and he has an incredible collection of these exotic wines. And I had to showcase that. I had to figure out a way, a location in the house where we could display his wine collection without making it too gaudy, but yet displaying a part of his collection. So it's a specific type of client that hires me and, and I know how to deliver to them. I shift more towards modern. I like the clean lines, the crisp look. Even though modern tends to be stark and cold, so that's one element that I love to bring in is warmth and inviting. I like, you know, it needs to be alluring. When you come into a space, you would be surprised how your atmosphere affects your emotions and your feelings. So I love the space to be beautiful and also functional. One of the nicest perks of my job is at the end of completing their home, I ended up having a really nice relationship with them. My clients end up being my friends. Seeing that client happy is really the true reward. So the faster we could get there and the smoother we could get there, that's my ultimate goal.